Neuromuscular diseases are rare. However, the number of people who have them in South Dakota is larger than many small towns in the state. And that is why the Muscular Dystrophy Association is working to bring cures and treatments to those individuals. But it needs your help. Instead of telling you why, on tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, Brady Mallory introduces you to two brothers who will show you why people with neuromuscular diseases need your support. Meet Micah and Eli. Two brothers who love to horse around. It doesn't take long for Micah to steal the spotlight and show off his dance moves. This is a common occurrence in the Van Overbeck household, a place full of life, love, and laughter. Stacy and Jeff Overbeck adopted Eli and Micah and quickly knew no matter where they were born, these two. Are their sons. They're just so amazing. I love my boys. That love comes in handy because this mom and dad knew Micah would need some extra support. He was born with a genetic neuromuscular disease called myotonic dystrophy, type 1. It's a progressive disease that weakens the muscles. It affects every system in his body. Um, it affects um, his brain. It affects his heart, his lungs, um, his muscles in his hands and in his feet. Um, and it, uh, it affects his speech. When he was little, Stacy says he couldn't eat and needed a feeding tube. And now... He eats everything. He eats steak now. It's true. Micah doesn't let his condition slow him down. So I think it's one of those things that after a certain point in time, you just you forget that he has the disability and you move forward. Who's your favorite character in Scooby-Doo? Off camera, the six-year-old was very chatty. However, when I tried to interview him, he got a little shy. Which is understandable when a big-haired stranger comes into your house and just starts asking questions. But Micah opened right up when we gave him the chance to be the reporter and interview his dad. His first question, where did they put the family dog, Owen? Can you find it Owen? We did put Owen in the car, didn't we? Yeah, he didn't bark. Because he was yes. going to bark. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's asleep. He's probably sleeping. This is just one glimpse into the life of a family living with a neuromuscular disease. But the Van Overbecks aren't alone. There are 400 people with these conditions in South Dakota. 400 people, when you think in terms of maybe a cancer diagnosis or something along those lines, doesn't seem like a lot of people across the state. But when you think in terms of rare conditions, it's quite a lot of people. Here's how you can help. Friday is the MDA Toast to Life event. It's at the Old Courthouse Museum in downtown Sioux Falls. The fundraiser has live music, live art, and various ways you can donate. The money helps pay for research for treatments and possible cures, but there's more. Awareness really is the biggest piece of the whole thing. Um, if people aren't aware what's going on, they don't know to help and they don't know how to help. Stacy says MDA's work has helped the family with therapies, information, and support. Sometimes you feel like you're on a deserted island and it's nice to have a com like a community. Which brings us back to these two. What do you like about being a big brother? I get to spend every day with my dad. Today, efforts to support people with neuromuscular diseases could help Eli's brother, Micah. Micah's perfect the way he is. If we could slow down the progression um, to where he might be able to enjoy his adult years, uh, I think that would be the main goal. <laughs> Tomorrow, it could help your own brother, sister, mother, father, or child. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mallory. Tickets are still available to Friday's Toast to Life event. We have listed information about how to buy them under this story at kelloland.com. And we've also listed where you can donate if you can't make the event.